What's good, y'all? Um, today we're gonna be reacting to a Mortal Kombat video. Uh, this is by Two Underdog Gaming. Link will be in the description. Shout out to him. It is uh, the most tortured character in Mortal Kombat history. So I'm assuming it's gonna be about Scorpion because he was in the thumbnail. Um, it's a lot of other tortured characters too, Reptile. Um, uh, Baraka, like just lower tier characters that are usually like got overruled by Shao Kahn and stuff like that. But Scorpion has definitely had it the worst both timelines. So let's just see what they go with, bro. Scorpion is by far the most iconic character in Mortal Kombat. Even Sub-Zero fans like myself have to admit it. There is a reason why Scorpion is on the cover of every single Mortal Kombat game, especially yeah. in recent memory. If every character in Mortal Kombat was a soft drink, then Scorpion is Coca-Cola. Once again, no character is more recognizable than he is. However, even so, Scorpion cannot catch a break in any of the games. The more I researched this character, I was shocked to discover how many L's he takes throughout the series. Believe it or not, Scorpion is easily the most tormented character in the entire Mortal Kombat series. But all of you watching can show Scorpion some love with a like down below and then subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And without any further ado, let's begin. In the very first Mortal Kombat game, Scorpion already has it worse than every other character because he starts off literally dead. Yeah, that's right, yeah. your boy died off screen, and I'm sure everyone watching already knows the story, but we gotta start somewhere. Before the very first Mortal Kombat game even takes place, Hanzo Hisashi was on a mission to collect a scroll. And by the way, that's Scorpion's actual name, Hanzo Hisashi. Yes. And unfortunately, Hanzo did yeah. not have his plot armor yet because he gets killed by Sub-Zero in a fair 1v1. And that's why Scorpion's dead in the very first Mortal Kombat game. You see, this badass literally crawled his way out of oh, hell yeah. after discovering his family and clan had been killed by the very same Sub-Zero. And Scorpion was not gonna sit on that L. Your boy is better than that. He's ready for vengeance, but unfortunately he fails again. Yeah, Scorpion actually loses twice before the very first Mortal Kombat game even happens. But thankfully this. when that tournament does finally occur, he gets his first W and kills Sub-Zero, getting revenge for his family and clan. And what does Scorpion do after achieving this goal? He goes back to hell for some rest and relaxation. How metal is that? The guy doesn't even run from his death. He just accepts it now that his mission is done. That's hardcore. But here's the too. thing. Scorpion doesn't get to rest for very long because he learns while in hell that Sub-Zero is back and just walking around somehow. What? That's right, your boy Sub-Zero got hacks just like Scorpion. He's an undead zombie just walking around yep, doing his. stuff. And you know Scorpion's not gonna stand for that, so he crawls his way back out of hell and enters the second Mortal Kombat tournament for the sole purpose of fading his ops once Noob's again. But once he gets there, he discovers something. This Sub-Zero is merciful and sparing everybody. The guy won't even do a fatality on anybody, and that's when Scorpion realizes that this is a different Sub-Zero, which on the one hand is a good thing because Scorpion kept the guy dead, but on the other hand, it means that Scorpion escaped hell for no reason. But now it's time to talk about 4, and here is where things get nutty, absolutely off the walls. The Alabaster Baldi, known as Quan Chi, shows up to Scorpion and says, yo dude, your family is actually alive, they escaped Sub-Zero's assassination, they're just walking around, you can find them, you can meet them. And Scorpion can't believe what he's hearing, most of his life has been constant Quan suffering, so he's like, what, really? My family's alive? I can see them? And Quan Chi's like, well, I mean, you could have, but the thing is, the younger Sub-Zero killed them because he wanted to finish his older brother's mission, so yeah, they're dead. Sub -Zero did you dirty a second time, homeboy. I'm sorry. And Scorpion goes nuclear at this new information and bodies Kuali Yang. That's the younger Sub Zero, in case you're not a super nerd like me. And Scorpion is ready to kill this new. Ain't, no, ain't nothing wrong with being a super nerd, especially when it comes to Mortal Kombat. I mean, it's very bare bones. Like, they kind of like bring in the story if you play the games. So, it ain't that hard, bro. Sub Zero, but then he learns a shocking twist, another huge revelation. It turns out Sub Zero was never responsible for killing Scorpion's that clan or so his clean. family. That was Quan Chi the entire time. Yeah, that's right, the same Quan Chi that's been manipulating him this entire time. He's the one responsible from the beginning. Just put yourself in Scorpion's shoes for a quick second, all right? Your family is killed, your clan is dusted. You crawl your way out of hell to avenge them multiple times, only to find out the person you've been serving and trusting this whole time was the one who actually did. 
did your family dirty. And this entire time, you've been doing exactly what he's wanted. Your family and clan's killer. How rough would that be to discover? Like I said earlier, Mortal Kombat 4 is nuts. This game is ridiculous. But next up, it's time for Deadly Alliance, the game that changed absolutely everything, killing the main villain and the main hero, Liu Kang. Which meant it was time for a new character to step forward as the main hero of the series, and everybody expected it to be Scorpion. Because by this point, he was already the most iconic and beloved character in the series. It makes perfect sense, right? But guess what? The writers May, right? disagree and killed Scorpion in his own arcade ladder ending. Your boy is tossed into the soul NATO and torn to shreds. How rough is that for the most popular character in the entire series? Damn. However, in Scorpion's defense, literally everyone loses in Deadly Alliance. The villains win at the start of Deception. Literally every hero either falls short or is killed in Deadly Alliance, so I can't hold Scorpion too accountable. He did what he could. But even so, the writers crapped all over his birthday cake. It was his turn to finally be the main character, and they said, no, we're gonna kill you in your own arcade ending. So I think now's a good time to talk about Deception. Believe it or not, Scorpion is actually the main character of this game off screen. Your boy Hanzo literally becomes the champion of the Elder Gods, and his main goal is to make sure that Onaga does not come into contact with all the Kami Doke. Right, he wanted to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Oof. He wanted to... They told him they would give him his family back, and I think that his family was like undead zombies, and he was pissed. <laughs> Because once that happens, Earthrealm and pretty much every realm is doomed, and they chose Scorpion to stop this from happening. Once again, your boy's the main character, but it just happened off screen, and he shows up to confront Shujinko, the character you've been playing as the entire game. Scorpion has to Shujinko stop you from accidentally mess. dooming every single realm, and he fails. And is now a good time to mention that the Elder Gods promised to restore Scorpion's family and clan if he succeeded? Because they totally did, and that's the main reason Scorpion is fighting as the champion of the Elder Gods. He wants his family and clan plan to be restored. And now finally, after five or six games in the series, he has his chance to do exactly that, and he fails because he's not the character you're playing. Which means Scorpion's own lack of skill is why his family is going to remain dead forever. And Damn. keep in mind that Chujinko is very, very old, and he's still got the W on Scorpion. That's gotta be rough for a character who's immortal and hasn't aged a day since he died. Like I said at the very start of this video, Scorpion never catches a break. He's almost the main character in Deadly Alliance, and then is the main character technically in deception but still falls short. Once again the writers did him dirty and crapped in his birthday cake. Which means now it's time for the final game, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. This game reveals the Elder God I just, now that I think about it I feel like that's why, even though they reset the timeline for MK11 I feel like that's why they killed Hanzo in MK11 so Scorpion can still be you know what I mean? Because if they would have like the vice versa, he would he wouldn't have been Scorpion anymore. You know what I mean? So I think I think that's why they pulled that move, even though the timeline is reset. It. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know actually did keep their promise and restored Scorpion's clan. However, they did so in a disturbing and disgusting way. You see, the gods in Mortal Kombat are kind of like the gods in Greek mythology. They're petty, they're cruel, and they don't care about humans for anything other than having sex with them. That's Thanks. how Rain was actually born. Anyway, back on track. Scorpion's clan was restored, but in the same state as him. They're undead zombies slash revenants, whatever you want to call that. them. And Scorpion is absolutely furious about this. And who wouldn't be? You fight your whole life to get your clan back and they're brought back as undead disgusting zombies and keep in mind the gods themselves did this so who else can you turn to to do the job right if not the gods themselves scorpion has nowhere else to turn and as a result he literally Shinko. turns into the villain instead your boy straight up said fine you don't want to make me the main character i'll be the main antagonist i'm going to kill the two heroes of this game your boys taven and dagon they're dead i'm gonna kill them i can't do anything right let's see me do something wrong and i won't lie i completely support scorpion and i love this heel turn. The idea of him being a secret hero in disguise and then just a straight up villain for the final game is a very interesting twist to me. However, in typical Scorpion fashion, he fails again. He does not kill Taven or Dagon, and he's clearly dead at the start of MK9. And that's it for the original timeline. Scorpion is easily the most tortured character ever. He dies multiple times. You would think that your most popular character and your most pop like, the creator's favorite character would at least get some type of slack. But no, it just gets worse.
since he never gets to be the hero, tries being the villain, and fails again. So now it's time to talk about the reboot, but I'm gonna speedrun this part because it's pretty much retelling the same story with some minor changes here and there. Scorpion gets the chance to save his clan in MK9, but he fails miserably, then returns to Sir Quan Chi. You know, the guy who actually killed his family. L. But Scorpion manages to rebuild his entire Shirai Ryu clan before the start of Mortal Kombat X even happens. But one of them gets possessed and kills everybody, so his clan's just dead all over again. L. Major L. Scorpion finally gets revenge on Quan Chi in Mortal Kombat X and kills him for good, gone from the rest of the series forever. But this leads to Shinnok being freed and almost killing all of Earthrealm. So L. Scorpion rebuilds his entire clan a second time before the start of Mortal Kombat 11, a massive W. But then he gets killed by himself from the past and never gets revived, so another L. But then in an animated movie, Scorpion literally fights the one being and lands the finishing blow. Which is crazy hype, who would ever think that Scorpion would kill the one being, except it didn't do much of anything, and the one being just keeps on fighting. Yeah, another uh. L. As you can see, Scorpion just can't catch a break in the entire series. His clan is killed over and over again, he himself gets defeated again and again by the real heroes, and never gets the chance to be the main character, and then yeah, later on, he can't even succeed as a villain. Despite being the fan favorite character, it's clear that Scorpion will never stop suffering. He truly is the most tormented soul in all of Mortal Kombat. But once again, you the viewer can show Scorpion some love with a like down below. And then if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any more videos in the future. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs! Well, that was a good video. Uh, Scorpion is, uh... Man, I'll feel bad, man. I feel bad. Hey, it's like he would go through... Okay, um, if you watch Seven Deadly Sins, it's kind of like Meliodas. Except that instead of losing Elizabeth, he loses his whole family every time. So hopefully it changes. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video, man. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Shout out to your underdog. It's your boy Thunder. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she wanna fuck with a go Spendin' a band, put that on a coat That nigga a bitch, I don't care what he told Up in that top, I'll send that boy straight to the doctor It put a hole in his dope Sure they gon' live with me, hop in that whip Pushin' that gas and we float